Hi, my name is Michelle Ferguson and I'm the crochet pattern designer of Two Brothers Blankets. Today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet the Katie washcloth. For this project you will need between 77 and 84 yards of worsted number four cotton yarn. I will be using Dishy Worsted in the colorway blush. You'll also need an H five millimeter crochet hook or hook to obtain gauge. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, once you have checked your gauge and determined your hook size, you will start be ready to start your washcloth. Um, this pattern is work in a multiple of six plus two plus two for the starting chain. So if you're chaining, you want to do a multiple of six plus two and then add two more to your starting chain. This, this is the multiple you can use to create a washcloth in any size. I will be making a 10 inch by 10 inch washcloth for this tutorial. So I am going to start by chaining 34. One, two, Okay, I have chained 34 um, and I'm getting ready to work row one. Here is the front of my chain. I like to turn it over, flip it all the way around and work in these back bumps of the chain. I just like the way it looks better. It doesn't leave a gap that like um, the front side sometimes does. So I'm gonna work in these back bumps right here. So it says to do a V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet in the fifth chain from my hook. So I've got my second right here, first is over here, it's the one attached, second, third, fourth, fifth. So I'm going to work my V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that chain. So this three chains that we um, didn't work into, that is the starting chain and that counts as one double crochet. So we've got one double crochet and then two double crochet right here. Then we're going to skip two chains and work into the next one. We're gonna do three double crochet into that next chain. So one, two, and three. So now we have five double crochet here plus one right here. So we have six double crochet so far. So now we're gonna start our repeat. We're gonna skip two chains again, and we're gonna do a V stitch into the next chain. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. All right, and then we're gonna skip two again, skip two chains and work three double crochet in the next. One, two, and three. And you're gonna repeat this all the way across to the last two stitches. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You do the same, skip two, V stitch, skip two, three double crochet until you get to the last two stitches and I'll meet you at the end. All right, I've worked all the way across until my last two chains. And so what I'm gonna do to finish off this row is I'm gonna skip one and then I'm just gonna do one double crochet in the last. So there's my row. So I've got one double crochet on each end and then I've got my sets of V stitch and three DC all, all the way in the middle, um, along the way. So now we are ready to start chain two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and that counts as your first stitch. Okay, so now we are going to Skip one double crochet, which is this first one of the 3DC set, and we're gonna do 3DC in the second one, in that middle double crochet. One, two, three. Then we're going to skip 
two double crochet. So we're skipping the last double crochet of the 3DC and the first double crochet of the V stitch. And then we're going to work our V stitch in the chain one space of that V stitch. So double crochet, chain one, double crochet. And that's what it looks like. Then we're going to skip two again. So we're skipping the second double crochet of the V stitch and the first of the three double crochets and working our three double crochets into the next. So you'll always be working your 3DC in the second of the, of the previous row, the second DC of the previous row, and your V stitch will always go into the chain one space of the V stitch in the previous row. And we're gonna work all the way across, just like that, for our second row. And then we are going to do our double crochet in the last stitch, which will be the top of the chain three. So go ahead and do that now. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, I finished out my row two. Um, for the V-stitch, I did my V-stitch, my last V-stitch in the chain one space, skipped that one double crochet of the V-stitch in the previous row, and then worked my double crochet at the top of that chain three, starting chain three. So that is what row two looks like. All right, now we're ready to start row three. So we're gonna chain three, and that is our starting chain that counts as our first double crochet. We're gonna turn our work, we're gonna skip our one double crochet of that B stitch, and we're gonna B stitch in the chain one. Then we are going to skip two double crochet. So the second one of the V stitch and the first one of the three DC and work in the third. So we are starting every other row, like row two started with three DC and row three starts with a V stitch because we have three DC here and V stitch on this side. So it'll be a two row repeat of rows two and three. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish out row three. We're gonna continue skipping two and working in the next or in the chain space. And then we're gonna do skip one at the end and do our last double crochet in the starting chain. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, I have completed row three. So now for rows four through 15, which will create the rest of our square, we're going to repeat rows two and three. So it's just a two row repeat. Um, continue on for 15 total rows. I'm gonna do the same, you can pause the video here and get your 15 rows done. And then I'll come back and show you how I do the trim around the washcloth. Okay, I have completed 15, the 15 rows of my washcloth and this creates the body. If you want, you can um, fasten off right here and not do a trim. That's totally fine. I think it does come out a little less than 10 inches without the trim. Um, but if you like it as it is, that's totally fine to fasten off right here. If you do want to trim, I'm going to show you how I did it. I did two rows of single crochet trim all the way around, or two rounds really, of single crochet trim all the way around. Um, there is no right side or wrong side. They, they're identical. So, um, I am just going to chain one here and turn, and I'm going to single crochet across the top. I'm just going to do my one single crochet in each double crochet stitch. And chain one stitch. I believe that's how I did that. So I went all the way across um, with each stitch. And doing a single crochet in each stitch. And I'm going to work all the way across and show you how I did do the sides when I finish this. Okay, so I worked one single crochet in each double crochet and chain one space across the top. 
So now I am going to work along the side of my washcloth and I'm just going to do it as evenly as I can. So it, I typically find that two single crochets per chain three or double crochet stitch works out pretty evenly um, and makes it look nice and even and good. So go ahead and do that work evenly, single crochets evenly across the side um, to the bottom. And then you're going to do the same in the bottom of your single crochet across the bottom and back up the top. And I'll show you, once I get to the bottom, I'll show you how I did the bottom part. Okay, I am down to the bottom. You can see the working two per double crochet or chain three on the edge uh, turns out really nice and even looking. So now we have these chain, starting chains, and we skipped two and then worked, um, or skipped one, worked in one and then skip two throughout the middle until the end. So I'm just going to do my um, single crochets into each of those chains. So the skipped ones the and the ones worked into, um, I'm just going to go ahead and single crochet in every single one of them. So I'm gonna do that now and then work around up the top of the, or back up the other side working two double crochet in the chain three spaces or the double crochet that end out the row and I'll join to the top and I'll show you that when I get there. All right, I have completed the bottom and up the other side and this is with one row of single crochet trim. You could fasten off here if you like. I, however, did two rows uh, or two rounds because um, I just thought it would look even nicer and it made it an even 10 inch by 10 inch. So for that one, you're literally just going to chain one and turn. After I had joined, um, I did join it at the beginning to the first uh, stitch with a slip stitch. So I'm going to chain one turn and I'm just going to single crochet in every single single crochet all the way around and join to first stitch and then fasten off and weave in my ends. All right, and once you have completed that second row trim, this is what you get. Fasten off, weave in your ends, and you have completed the Katie washcloth. If you like this stitch combo, this lacy V-stitch 3DC combo, um, I have tons of other Katie crochet patterns. Um, I have cardigan, a, um, a top, um, a cowl and hat set, all kinds of patterns with this stitch combo. So I will link those in the description for you to check out. Um, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.